Senator Francis N. Tolentino, I will read from the dispositive portion of Committee Report No. 3, filed on September 8, 2022. Wherefore, premises considered, the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee recommends the following remedial legislation. Number one, amendment of relevant legislation such as Executive Order No. 18, Republic Act No. 10659, and related laws to inject transparency and accountability in the process of issuing import permits and other critical issuances. Number two, amendment of Executive Order No. 18 to provide for the expansion of the Sugar Regulatory Administration Board to eight members with the Secretary of Agriculture continuing to act as ex officio chairman and the addition of sectors represented, such as additional board members to represent the consumers, both industrial and household, sugar industry workers, sugar transportation sector workers, and other stakeholders in the success of the sugar industry. Number three, amendment of executive order number 18 to prohibit the delegation of the authority of the SRA Board to reclassify sugar. Number four, a review and rationalization of the sugar importation policy of the government. Number five, full funding for the CEDA law or Republic Act 10659. And number six, it's also recommended that the SRA immediately prepare a sugar importation plan with appropriate safeguards clearly specified for review of higher authorities. The committee further recommends to the Honorable Office of the Ombudsman the filing of the following charges against the following personalities. Number one, there is preliminary evidence on record indicating that the public officials involved in the sugar fiasco, namely Under Secretary Leocadio Sebastian, former SRA Administrator Hermenegildo Serafica, board members Attorney Roland Beltran and Mr. Valderrama, have committed the administrative offenses of serious dishonesty, grave misconduct, gross neglect of duty, conduct prejudicial to the best interest of the service, and gross insubordination under the revised rules on administrative cases in the civil service. Number two, for criminal cases, the Blue Ribbon Committee recommends that the following charges be initiated against Under Secretary Sebastian, former Administrator Serafica, and Board Members Beltran and Balderrama as follows. One count of a violation of Section 3A of Republic Act 3019, otherwise known as the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. B. One count for a violation of Section 3E of the Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act. T. One count of a violation of the provisions of Republic Act Number 10845, otherwise known as the Anti-Agricultural Smuggling Act of 2016. And finally, one count of usurpation of official functions defined and penalized under Article 177 of the Revised Penal Code. Let a copy of this committee report be furnished to the Department of Justice, the Commission on Audit, the Office of the Ombudsman for their information and appropriate action. Let a copy of this committee report be also furnished to the Bureau of Immigration for the inclusion of the names of Licadio S. Sebastian, Hermenegildo R. Serafica, Attorney Roland B. Beltran, and Mr. Aurelio Gerardo J. Valderrama, Jr., in the Immigration Lookout Bulletin, so adopted by the committee. Thank you, uh, uh, General Counsel. The committee secretary is directed to transmit the committee report to the appropriate government agencies for the filing of the proper cases relative to the committee report. The committee secretary is so directed.